Hey everyone, this is Bigwigs and we are back playing Dark Souls. Let's see, the last time in Dark Souls we spent uh, the whole time running around not doing anything. And at the very end we got the basement key and we opened the shortcut between here and I think it was Lower Undeadburg? Actually I'm not sure if it has a name. No, but anyways, we're back on the track. We're not going to spend this whole flipping episode doing a huge circle of the stuff we've already done. We'll see if we can be pro here. Do we have any? We do. Throwing knife! <laughs> I've never used those before. I should... They're not very powerful, though. Parry, motherfucker! Alright. Oh, we need to take a single hit there. Oh, that's satisfying. Alright, so we run all the way down here. Not through here. Feels good to be going into a new area. Even it is hella creepy like this one. It's a lot different from the other ones we've done so far. The sewers. I, actually, before we go to the sewers, there's a boss we have to kill. So let's, uh, let's do that first. Here, I'll show you where the sewers actually are. It's right here, through this door. Can't get through, because it's locked. Hmm. Come on. He's down! He's also down! Should be dogs around here somewhere. Oh shit! Jesus Christ, that was terrifying! It didn't take much damage though. I don't think the other dudes noticed us. So, anyways, through here is the boss, and he's. God, he's kind of a tough motherfucker. But we'll, we'll check him out. Shit. Shit. Oh my god. God, I want to kill this dog. Okay, so... You can get through his attacks. He's not too tough. Oh my god. And he's down! Yeah, Cabra Demon's down. Key to the depths. But holy shit, I almost died there. We got 6,000 big ones.
So since I wasted you guys' time so much last episode, we're, we're not going to touch down the bonfire. We're going to go straight into the depths, as promised. Yeah, used key to depths. So I've been saying sewers this whole time, but it's depths is what it's called. And this will be... Up until now, this whole area has been fairly, like, you know, urban. There's been lots of lights. Lots of ways, like, areas to move around in. The depths, much more claustrophobic. The large soul. Damn it. And again, with a new area comes lots of new rewards. New enemy is just those guys, those fire dudes. They're tough. They're not tough, but they do damage. Like crazy amounts of damage. It's all fire damage. So unless you have a good fire resist shield, you're going to take damage even if you block. So if you can, keep your distance. Or, you know, just kill them before they hit you. Doing good. We're doing good. I think we, we can see him from here. The butcher. He isn't too tough, but he is a special boss or a special enemy, so he won't respond if we kill him. I don't think he's aggroed us yet. Look at him dual wheeling the meat cleaver. Shit. God damn it. <clears throat> hey, he fell. What a scrub. Oh, God. Uh, frame it lag there. Oh, shit. Look at his stupid voice. Let's see if we can backstab. Alright. I remember this guy being easier for some reason. There we go. That's right, you son of a bitch. God, I have, I have so much souls, I'm scared. Open that. And that is our first large ember. If we take that back to our blacksmith friend, then it lets us upgrade our weapons and armor even further. Which is nice. Very nice. But the first thing we're going to do, before we go back and do that, because we are going to go back and do that, is we want to get a new, like, shopkeeper person. There's another butcher. I 
It's okay. We know what to do. As always in Dark Souls. See, that wasn't too hard. We found a sack. Oh, yeah. So you come up here and you see that guy? He ain't dead. So this is a very important rule. If you attack him, then he will not help you. So do not break the box like this. Just roll into him. That was a girl? Holy shit. It's not very... I mean, I guess it could have been a girl, but you look... Well... Oh, hello. God, that was a weird-looking girl. I guess it could have been a girl. I mean, you know... Actually, this leads us deeper into the depths. I'm not sure if we want to do that just yet. Because we got a bunch of souls. Hmm. Let's see if there's any way to get back up through. Now, we're about to drop down here. Stabby, stabby. God, without the wolf ring, I would just die so often. Rup, and make a long trek back to the blacksmith. Bonfire? I shouldn't have. You shouldn't have responded. Okay, we'll buy. We'll buy this purging stone. Cause you know what? I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the curse area of the of the depths. As soon as we're done running all the way back to the friggin' blacksmith. This rat. There we go. Did we touch a bonfire? Firebomb. Hmm. He's down. He's down. Just racking up the souls. The hard dude wouldn't be back already, would he? Oh, he is! This is a guy we just rescued. And he teaches us something cool. Yeah, well, I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use here. A flame. Yeah. Why, let's get. Yeah. What we're gonna do is learn some pyromancy. Alright, so Pyromancy is pretty cool, actually. Although I'm not sure if I have enough attunement to use any of it. It'll be fine. So, uh, what do we do here? So you remember how I explained a talisman way back when? You have to have like uh, some sort of magical item in order to use that certain type of magic. Pyromancy is like that, too. See, now we have a glove. We have no magic attuned to our given to us or equipped though 
So in order to attune magic, it's right here. Attune magic. And I have no attunement slots. And uh, I have nothing to level up with. So, uh... Wow, well, I'm an idiot. Hmm. Hmm. What now? There's a ghosty guy. This son of a bitch. I'm pretty sure there is a bonfire somewhere in the depths. But I usually go away where we don't find it. If that makes any sense. God, I really wanted a firebomb. Well, well. We'll get some souls down here. At least we got our SS flashback. That's what we really need. Another parry. Good thing I parried. Yeah, good news. Uh, parry actually makes you a little bit invincible. So if you're surrounded by enemies, do your best to parry or backstab. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, that guy almost killed me. Killed these guys. Here, we'll go down the legit way. We'll travel further into the depths the legit way. Hey, there's no dog here anymore. What is? Oh shit, there's you though. I hate these dogs. Slash through this swampy area where you walk. Oh shit! Heal up. I know I probably need to heal up. But I'm always scared of dying here. This is the legit way to go, guys. God, I hate this area, actually. And you'll know why in a second. That little goo thing. It will land on you, and it will kill you. Or maybe not kill, but it will do some damage. Damn. So we have some of those to deal with here. And I don't remember where they all are, so we'll be checking the ceiling every time we pass anything. They're usually they're not too frequent. Like I said, there's just a few of them we gotta deal with. Yeah, there we go, see? Goes one right there, the guy down there. His job is to make us fall into one. Here we go. Come on. The reason why Pyromancy is good here is because these guys are weak to fire a little bit. And Pyromancy in general is really powerful. wonder if see there's more god
You know, I'm half tempted just to run past them. Whoa. Careful, bigwigs. They do flinch when you hit them, at least. Nice long episode of me desperately trying not to get killed in a small hallway. Yeah, that's what you guys came to see. Is me just crush slimes with my sword. Ooh, but we needed that actually. The large titanite shard? Yeah. That's good. Any more up here? Nope. Oh shit, master key. Oh, here's where the bonfire is. Wait, steady, careful. Yeah. And you know what? We'll see if we get some more attunement in here. Do we have any attunement? No, we need 10. God damn it. But anyways, well, yeah, this is where we'll end the video, I think. Because it's kind of a little terrifying already. <laughs> so anyway, if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to, you know, yell at me for doing something wrong or uh, anything like that, just leave a comment. I'll reply because I don't get very many comments. Or hopefully not yet. So anyways, uh, I've been Bigwigs. You guys have been great. See you around.